Welcome. Thank you, everyone, for attending the Nightscope Town Hall, as well as the 2024 Annual Stockholder Meeting. We're grateful to each and every one of our investors and genuinely appreciate you taking time to tune in today. Let me get straight to the point. Almost every company goes through difficult times and the last couple of years have been quite challenging for Nightscope as a public company. I can tell you it's an odd situation because internally, we believe we're doing profoundly better than when we were private. But as I often say, I believe Wall Street can be quote unquote wrong in the short term and typically quote right in the long term. In the meantime, we'll continue to relentlessly work the issues and I am confident highly confident we'll have a very, very bright future. This too shall pass. We're making solid progress on our, all our internal goals and key ingredients to reach profitability. And I'm excited about the future of Nightscope and driving long-term stockholder value. A good amount of that has to do with the sweeping changes we're making to the business. Honestly, some days it feels like we're changing everything except the color of the logo. Our aim is to leave no stone unturned, and we're focusing on various opportunities to improve the company and its financial position. We still have a lot of work ahead for us, and we believe that we just need to focus on execution. As Nightscope's largest stockholder, I have an unwavering belief in and support for the Nightscope team. Jeez, our team shows up every day, no matter how hard or how complex the challenges we face, maybe, and just keep pushing forward our progress towards a brighter future. That relentless nature is what helped, actually helped get Nightscope off the ground 11 years ago and led to us being one of the 5% of startups that succeed in getting off the ground and staying off the ground. Listen, the sky's blue. Tomorrow is just another sunset away. We just need to work the solutions, including instilling investor confidence and executing our plans. We have a plan, we have the right team working the plan, and are making progress every single day. I believe the future is extremely bright for Nightscope, and I love our company, our team, and our investors. I don't want to be working on anything else, and it is my honor and privilege to be fighting for Nightscope and our country every single day. Today, I'll focus on my four personal reasons why I'm long on Nightscope and absolutely and certainly short on the criminals. Market, technology, operations, and people. So let's get into that now. Market. Investors love to hear, love to hear that there's a large market ripe for disruption, especially if there's a unique technology and a business model to go with it. Well, in our case, we believe we're not just targeting a very large market, but one that has a recurring need. The public safety, law enforcement, and security markets are not only ripe for disruption, but we believe they're ripe for disruption utilizing robotics, AI, and automation. So let's work through maybe three different angles on sizing what we believe can be a multi-billion dollar opportunity. So first, we often say, or I often say, Robots will be everywhere. We believe the market potential is very large. And in our case, we think it's a market that will not only will not collapse as crime is an ongoing recurring problem. Unlike markets that can disappear. Think about typewriters, pagers, fax machines, flip phones, and station wagons. Remember, a property crime occurs every four seconds in our country and a violent crime every 26 seconds. We do not have to live this way. I believe every American has a basic and fundamental right to live in a safe community in a safe country. Second, another angle will be some sort of unique triangulation or taking a few different data points to help draw a conclusion. So let me give you some numbers. There are approximately 1 million law enforcement professionals, about a million and a half uh, security guards, approximately 300,000 law enforcement vehicles and about 80 million security cameras in operation in the US. The answer in my eyes is certainly not small, but requires a large technology portfolio that we're just getting started building. So I don't believe it's tens or hundreds or thousands of robots. Millions is where we're focused in the long term. 
Third, you can take a percent augmentation approach to some of the numbers above and long-term in our eyes, there's a potential for a $40 billion recurring revenue opportunity once everything's in place. And you can download the deck at nightscope.com slash rise if you wanna take a closer look, but here's a screenshot of the relevant slide for you. Now that you understand this is huge opportunity, how do we tackle it and what progress have we made? Well, here's some things for you to think about. Potential for recurring revenue. Well, with our machine as a service subscriptions, we're demonstrating that a recurring revenue business model for a recurring societal problem can work and has already generated millions and millions of dollars of revenue. High margins. We've demonstrated greater than 60% margins over a five-year period by analyzing the data from numerous numerous of our longest serving clients for our autonomous security robots, which is a major, major milestone, confirming our projections with real world results. Now we just need to scale things up. Renewals. Clients have renewed our subscription services, including for two, three, four, five, six, seven, even eight years, eight consecutive years. Clients don't stick around that long without us providing real value for them. Dwindling competition. We believe every major effort by a competitor, either a major corporation or a startup, has effectively failed thus far, granting Nightscope a genuine first mover advantage. FedRAMP. We believe we're currently the only autonomous security provider authorized to do business with the U.S. federal government. And we have successfully deployed our first K5 Gov machine at a U.S. Department of Veterans Affairs hospital in Texas. Super excited about that. Moat. We have begun to build a strong moat with a combination of approximately 3 million hours of operating in the field, the FedRAMP authorization I just mentioned from the U.S. federal government, a growing technology and advanced technology portfolio, and more than a decade of real-world experience. Prime fighting wins. Our machines have done a lot of good for society already, and we're just getting started. We've helped apprehend an armed gunman, helped with a domestic abuse case, aided a victim of kidnapping, helped issue an arrest warrant for a sexual predator, stopped numerous car thefts, and the list goes on and on and on. You can check it out at nightscope.com slash crime. We envision that in the future, we'll be required to have autonomous security. No different than having a, I don't know, a smoke alarm or a fire detector. And that will be the tipping point for robots to be everywhere. RTX, our newly established risk and threat exposure department, has proven to be a resounding success with our clients as well as our own internal operations helping reduce workload and improve our value add by having our team of humans work closely with our team of robots across the country. We continue to make more progress school by school, hospital by hospital, city by city. We think robots will be increasingly welcome because they're making our community safer and keeping your loved ones safe. And the number of robot selfies continues to grow. So to sum it up, what's not to love? A massive market with a real problem every American can relate to, a potential path to recurring revenue with potential for high margins at scale, proven technology and a competitive landscape where none of our competitors have not yet succeeded. Interesting times. So let's move on to technology. Nightscope is a technology company focused on public safety, building new tools to fight against those that seek to cause harm to everyday Americans. What we have achieved is not only technologically extremely difficult to build, but even more challenging to operate 24-7, 365 across an entire nation. To emphasize this fact, literally three major corporations and just as many funded startups have failed, given up, or gone bankrupt. We now have a real advantage. We believe we got it working, now I just need to optimize. Now it's time to scale things up with a focus on driving growth, cost reductions, efficiencies, process improvements, et cetera. Kind of maybe the less glamorous stuff, 
but extremely important. And we'll continue to build our moat as we develop our portfolio of software, hardware, and unique services that combined together will uniquely position us as leaders of public safety technology. We believe that in order to address the nation's public safety problem, we need to put at least 1 million machines in network that can see, feel, hear, smell, speak, and autonomously cooperate. They need to work 24-7, 365, and give the 2.5 million officers and guards real tools for them to be able to do their jobs effectively and keep you and your loved ones safe. I'll say it again. I believe that robots will be everywhere. And anyone who thinks that that is not the case is in for a very, very rude autonomous awakening. To give you a flavor of the future that we're planning for Nightscope, I thought it'd be helpful to highlight our current portfolio of technologies and equally as important um, as a technology company, share what the future might hold for Nightscope. We currently have eight different machines and devices in the field, as well as two software platforms. K1 Hemisphere. When size and price matter, the K1 Hemisphere can be had for as low as 75 cents per hour, including being monitored remotely by our RTX team. K1 Tower has been popular at ingress and ingress points where there's a good amount of human or vehicle traffic. K3 Indoor has been proudly patrolling indoors at a large hospital in Houston for many, many years. K5 Outdoor, our most popular ASR, and now on our fifth generation of the technology, providing both a physical deterrence to negative behavior, but also giving an officers and guards eyes, ears, and voice on the ground in multiple locations at the same time. K1 Blue Light Tower, a beacon of public safety across schools and corporate campuses. K1 Blue Light Emergency Phone, it's a compact emergency calling solution, very popular in parking structures. The K1 call box, thousands and thousands of these deployed for emergency roadside assistance and remote locations. Hey, listen, no cellular, no problem. That's our thing with our K1 call boxes. The K1 retrofit kit, it's an opportunity to upgrade to solar power, wireless connectivity with self-monitoring software and support. And on the software side of things, we've got the Nightscope Security Operations Center. This is our browser-based user interface that provides a unique format for humans to interact with our autonomous security robots and the over 90 terabytes of data they generate annually. Nightscope Emergency Management Systems, or CAMS, launched a year ago that helps monitor our nearly 10,000 fleet of K1B devices in the field operating 24 seven. Additionally, and through strategic partnerships, we've added automated gunshot detection, 100% automated for indoor or outdoor usage, reporting a gunshot within two seconds, providing the 3D shooter location accuracy within two meters. Autonomous drones, a partnership with our friends at Dragonfly, forming a unified offering both in the air and on the ground. And the recently announced K1 laser, using lasers to fight against criminals, especially for perimeter security. The K1 lasers operate under adverse weather conditions and low or no light, reliably delivering advanced details that the 80 million plus security cameras in the US cannot. All of these actions enhance our offerings for our clients on our mission to better securing our country. This is just the start of what we anticipate will be a wide, a very wide portfolio of technologies to better protect the places people live, work, study, and visit. We plan to do that by building new technologies organically, through partnerships, and through acquisitions. In the near future, we're focused on two key strategic initiatives. First one being platform commonality. To drive engineering efficiencies, improve quality, speed up manufacturing throughput, increase economies of scale, and drive innovation, we must, we must consolidate our wide ranging of technical architectures, hardware, software, firmware, telecom, and electrical systems into a single common company-wide platform. 
To that end, we've kicked off a very ambitious project called ICM, or Intelligence Control Module, that we intend to eventually become the backbone of the entire lineup, handling all things AI, all things video, audio, lighting control, and telecommunications. We believe this software, firmware, hardware platform designed to provide a seamlessly unified customer and operating experience across all our products will not only drive significant, significant cost reductions, but numerous benefits in manufacturing, quality, and operations at scale. We're targeting the ICM to go into production during 2025. Portfolio expansion. In the medium term, we intend for the aforementioned ICM module to go into the future K1 Super Tower. And the all new and super exciting K7 ASR that we highlighted during our uh, Innovation Week. Concurrently, we intend to tackle additional growth opportunities through a methodical approach long term, in some cases organically, and as I mentioned, in other cases through partnerships and acquisitions. We are certainly have our sights set on the K10 Patrol. and future K-15 tactical vehicles. Although the industry is not yet ready for this level of technology, Nightscope seeks to become that trusted advisor, that trusted technology advisor over time for our clients to help bridge the gap between those on the front lines and cutting edge new technologies. We need to work in the future to deliver the future. This is an exciting time where we think technology can genuinely and positively help society, help our communities and help your community and your loved ones. And we believe all that we envision is technically possible with the right people, cash and time to execute. So you may be asking, what about artificial intelligence? How does AI play a role in Nightscope's future? Well, first, some of the basics involved in AI already have been implemented at Nightscope and working in the field. I often kid around or tease folks, like, do you think there's like a little guy inside our robots and pedaling away like crazy to get the machine to move around by itself? That's all AI. That is real world practical implementation of AI and so is autonomous recharging, facial recognition, license plate detection, people detection, object tracking, all that is AI. We intend to integrate AI into everything we do as we have already and it is part of our core. The exciting part in my mind is the latest breakthroughs in AI are only going to accelerate our efforts at Nightscope. When we say we need a million machines in network and they need to see, feel, hear, smell, speak, and autonomously cooperate, we believe that will all, all of it will be accelerated dramatically by AI. So let's go through them. What do we mean by see? Well, process vast amounts of video data for object and scene classification to detect humans, vehicles, animals, bicycles, behaviors, and threats. Feel run machine learning models on live streaming thermal data or analyze emotions in a crowd of people or detect a fire. Here, automatically conduct sound classification and localization for acoustic event detection, which could include gunshots, cars starting, glass breaking, a yell for help or an accident. Smell, figuratively place a dog's nose on a chip to detect pathogens or chemical biological radiation or other similar risks. Speak, utilize generative AI to allow the public to conduct a value added conversation with the robot, which could be used for basic information, directions, call for help, or details on a point of interest. And what do we mean by autonomously cooperate? Well, utilize AI to enable autonomous cooperation, swarming, data transfer, and data sharing for scene or incident analysis, planning, and investigation amongst all the machines. So for example, imagine the FBI putting up their 
most wanted list and the machines being able to track that suspect down anywhere in the country within minutes. Here's another example. We need to build a state-of-the-art AI-driven mission control software platform to be able to facilitate cooperation between all these machines. Today, there's a standalone user interface for each of the autonomous security robots, our K1B portfolio, the drones, automated gunshot detection, and the recently announced K1 laser. For our clients and our team to get the most out of all these systems, we need them to be able to effectively communicate, share data, plan missions, conduct investigations, and autonomously cooperate with each other. That is going to be a hell of a software marvel to build. We think the opportunities with AI are endless, and the possibility to build game-changing technology for the benefit of our communities and our country is invigorating and what gets us up every morning here in Silicon Valley. Operations. The team spent years and years getting all this stuff to work, and we were not necessarily focused on optimizing for material costs, labor efficiencies, processes, etc. Honestly, the priority was just to get all this stuff to work and prove that a client would pay for it. Now, having done that, we can now focus on refining. The work to optimize things is not glamorous, as I mentioned, but it is a known quantity. We know what to do and are doing it. Now we simply need to increase revenue, reduce costs, and scale up, after which we believe the profits will come. Let me provide you some specifics so you get a better understanding or flavor of where we're focused and the progress we're making. Reduction in machine downtime across the fleet through design changes, material changes, improved quality assurance, burn-in testing, and software and firmware improvements. Reduction in service calls through more carefully managing the service process, documentation, and escalation procedures. Reduction in service costs through outsourcing technician work and eliminating our fleet of trucks. Reduction in false positives through improvements in machine learning and algorithms as, we, as well as diagnostics. Reduction in the bill of materials through changing suppliers, changing materials, eliminating parts, and significant design changes. Reduction in labor hours through improved processes, documentation, and use of contract manufacturing for select subassemblies. A reduction in number of facilities through ongoing consolidation. A reduction in cellular costs through contract negotiations and technical changes, as well as an increased usage of private LTE. Reduction in operating expenses through numerous optimization techniques, elimination of processes, and headcount optimization. At the same time as we're making all those reductions, we've also made the following improvements. Improvement in purchasing controls and improvements in production planning and sign-off authorities. Improvements in production throughput where, for example, we used to ship maybe 1K5 perhaps every week or two and now consistently shipping about three a week. Improvements in QA processes throughout the production process, end of line tests, documentation again and again and again, strict controls on authority to ship. Improvement in decision-making by eliminating a significant portion of the management team. Improvement in root cause analysis by driving decisions based on improved collection of data from the field and not just going to fix the problem and not uh, analyzing it. Improvement in client retention through both upgrades to the fifth generation K5, but also implementation of the aforementioned RTX team or the risk and threat exposure team. Improvement in team alignment, which is really important, where we now have a solid cadence of engineering and production changes underway. We want to work to squeeze out as many efficiencies as possible, cleaning house, improving business and technical processes while focusing on the bottom line. As a result, we think that these improvements will begin to show up in the financials in the coming months, quarters, and years, setting ourselves for what we believe will be profitable growth and in a very exciting future. People. One of the keys to success here is the absolute relentless nature of the Nightscope team. We've made a lot of changes, but not limited to, cutting a third of the management team to streamline decision-making, recruited an all new board of directors, on track to cut up to 30% of the payroll expense, 
and we're focused on building a very cohesive team. One team, one fight. And did you know that a third of Nightscope employees have been with the company between three and 11 years? Frankly, that is a bit of a miracle here in Silicon Valley, where typically folks last maybe a year or two at max at an employer. These are smart, driven people that could work anywhere, but they're giving that they're all against all odds to make Nightscope successful and achieve our mission. My bet is and will always be on the Nightscope team. I also consider our thousands of retail investors part of our team. Without your steadfast support, we wouldn't have been had the fuel to build the company and get this far in the first place. A heartfelt thank you to you all. My motto has been, life is short, do what you love and make a big impact. And what I love is working on our honorable mission here at Nightscope that everyone says is impossible. That fuels a deep fire within me and the entire team. This country gave my parents a chance for a better life coming from South America and Asia. My mom was from Bogota, Colombia, and my dad was from outside of Shanghai, China. And they met in the melting part of New York City, where I was born. And here in America, they were able to build a positive life together and provide me a chance to grow, learn, and succeed. I feel a deep need to repay that debt to our country. I believe in America, and I believe we can make it the safest in the world. But for that to potentially happen, I need you to continue to believe in Nightscope and the Nightscope team. Together, we can do this. What many investors don't understand is that after 9-11, I committed to dedicate the rest of my life to better securing the U.S. And so the drive here is deeply personal with me. We're not going away, no matter how hard so many try to trip us up. I'm willing to do whatever it takes, so long as it's legal, ethical, and moral, to force a win for our country and for our stockholders. If we can't run, we will walk. If we can't walk, we will crawl. But nothing is going to stop us from moving forward, and I mean nothing. Having put in over a decade working the same problem over and over and over again gets us several steps closer to a victory. What is crazy, it's, it's actually indeed possible to achieve the mission, as crazy as that might sound, in making the U.S. the safest country in the world sounds outrageous. But that deep change in public safety requires investment and building of new technologies. You're not just going to download the solution off the cloud and the federal, state, and local government are not going to fix this problem. It requires real work by serious people backed by serious investors, and I know we can do it together. Listen, Americans love a comeback story, and I hope you'll be a meaningful part of it. So join us and be a force for good. Onward.